So one thing we know about monopolistic competition is that it's quite similar to perfect competition. Um, and one of the ways, particularly, um, in which it's similar is that in the long run, there are no barriers to entry. In the short run, there are always barriers to entry because um, you know, you, you, if you don't have the fixed factor, you can't operate in this market, and so it'll take you until the long run to acquire the fixed factor. But in the long run, you know, there's no barriers to entry and there's no barriers to exit. And therefore, we end up with a dynamic that's very similar to perfect competition in that if firms are making large amounts of abnormal profit in the short run, new firms are going to enter and take that profit away. Um, if firms are loss-making in the short run, some of those firms are going to leave, um, allowing the remaining firms not to make a loss. So it's the same process that we saw in perfect competition, yeah, but the way we illustrate that is in a slightly different way. So let's imagine, you know, let's, let's, you know, here we'll have a firm. Here we'll have a firm that's making. Um, here we'll have a firm that's making um, abnormal profit. Yeah. Here we'll have a firm that's making um, an economic loss. So the way we're going to draw that, you know, there's you know, demand and average revenue, marginal revenue, marginal cost. And we said if we want to make the firm have abnormal profits, we need average cost to go below average revenue. So minimum point is where MC is. Yeah, um, so now at the profit maximizing at the profit maximizing output of Q1, price is there P1, cost is there C1, and it's got abnormal profit. Um, if we do the same for a firm, if we do the same for a firm over here, yeah, um, and again we'll give it. Oops, there's demand, average revenue. There's MR. There's MC. Um, we want our firm. Yeah, you know, we, we want our firm to make. A loss, we said. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that average cost stays well above average revenue. Still hits minimum point here. There's average cost. So again, um, we find the profit maximizing output. We do, that's the marginal step. So we find Q star where MC equals MR. We go up to the price here, P1. Yeah, and then at the same output, Q star, we then find the average cost, which is there, which is C1. And therefore, this firm is making a loss, yeah, because cost is greater than price, yeah, cost is greater than average revenue, average cost is greater than average revenue, whereas here, average revenue is greater than average cost, yeah, so that firm has abnormal profit. So let's talk about what, what's going to happen in the long run, then. Um, in the long run, we said that new firms are going to enter this market. So what happens to our firm? And the answer is, it's going to lose market share. So what's going to happen to our firm is that originally that was the demand for this firm and its marginal revenue. Um, new firms enter, so demand for the firm falls, and with it, marginal revenue falls because marginal revenue is just derived from, it's got from um, average revenue. So the firm faces falling demand. In this case, where some firms are making a loss, then of course, if we take, if, let's assume let's assume that our firm is one of the ones that remains. Otherwise, there isn't a diagram. <laughs> um, of course, what's going to happen is there was its there was its original demand and its original marginal revenue. What's going to happen is that some firms are going to leave because firms are loss making. They're all fairly similar. Some of the restaurants leave, and so what happens is that our remaining restaurant um, um, you know, starts to have more customers. Yeah, customers find that they're Original places are shut, so they switch. So remaining firms get an increase in demand, and again, therefore, marginal revenue increases as well. So where firms are making a profit to start with, new firms enter, resulting um, in demand falling. Where firms are making a loss, some other firms leave, meaning there's more market share for the remaining ones. So when is this process? When is this process going to end? Well. Here we're making abnormal profits. It's that that attracts firms into the industry. Here we're making losses. That's what's causing firms to leave. Where the firm can just make normal profit, there's now no incentive for firms to enter the market, no incentive for firms to leave the market. So in the long run, what's going to happen is that in both cases, we end up with a situation whereby the firm will just make normal profit in the long run as a result of these changes in the firm's demand. This is one where it's particularly useful 
yeah, um, to draw the MR curve on, sorry, draw the AC curve on afterwards, because we want it to touch there, but its minimum point still needs to be where it crosses the marginal cost curve. So average cost goes like that, minimum point there, and then it can do what it wants after that. So at the profit maximizing output um, of Q star, average cost equals average revenue, and the firm's just making normal profit.